Good morning, everybody. Happy Thursday. TJ here with Daily Grind Fantasy Sports, and you guessed it. In this video, I'm going to be comparing major sports books lines to prize picks lines and creating a prize pick slip with you guys. Uh, we're either going to do a five flex or a six flex, and just so you know, it is going to be an entire NHL slip. Before we dive into our slip, I do want to just remind you guys that we are running three-day free trials on our all-access membership monthly option on our website. All you have to do is go to dgfantasy.com, click on the membership options, boom, all-access pops up immediately. You scroll down, you click sign up, and from there you input your information. And again, you get three free days free of charge. If you're unhappy with the product, if it's not what you were looking for, maybe you don't want to pay, etc., all you got to do is cancel prior to that charge in your first three days, and there's no sweat. Come try it out. Go to ggfantasy.com and give us a shot. All right, guys, so here we have it, the All Sports Prize Picks Optimizer. What I did here is I went to sports at the top left. I simply clicked off of NHL, and we have six beauties that are ready to be entered into a six-man flex. Now, let's go ahead and talk about them. Up top, we have Max Domi currently sitting on prize picks at three shots on goal the sportsbook line is set to two and a half and we essentially see there's actually juice on the under here on a couple sites pinnacle at minus 116 DraftKings at minus 115 barstool at minus 121 bovada at minus 115 so these are the implied odds here between all the sports books for his under of two and a half line so we'll see this dgf line right here and what is that what the dgf line does is it approximates what the line would be at if max domi's over under for shots on goal was set to three so with a minus 158 approximation across all these sports books that currently have it listed at two and a half and again these are the odds for the under of two and a half we're looking at a 57.3 percent fair odds percentage for max domi to stay under three which is a fantastic starting point for our six flex it's a really good play um i would assume this max domi line does get dropped down from three to two and a half at some point this morning so if you're not playing it in this slip but you do want to use it i would for sure grab it sooner rather than later next up on our list we have jacob truba showing 55.5 percent fair odd percentage to hit his over of two shots on goal again the sportsbook line here is currently set to two and a half with juice on the under but it's almost an even line we're getting there right now bet 365 actually has minus 120 juice on the over of two and a half but again the approximation here of what the line would look like on these sports books if the line was currently set to two uh is minus 145 odds here for truba to go over two and again we're looking at a 55.5 percent chance to clear the over of two shots on goal on prize picks our next play is going to be Jeff Skinner under three shots on goal, 55.1% chance. As we can see here, the sportsbook line is actually set to three and a half, but crazy juice on the under here. Right now, we have an approximation of a minus 149 line if this was set to three on the sportsbooks, minus 223 on Pinnacle to go under three and a half. DraftKings is set to minus 165, Bovada minus 185, Betno minus 167. So some book agreements that this line of three and a half is way too high so we're looking at this 55.1 percent chance for skinner to stay under three shots on goal next up we got brad marchand over two and a half shots on goal we have an even line here between the sports books and prize picks we are looking at a minus 140 average across the board 54.7 percent chance minus 147 on pinnacle to hit the over minus 154 on FanDuel, minus 157 on barstool so some book agreements here on the over of two and a half a really good play here and another addition to our six flex next up we got miro hiskanen definitely mispronounced that i don't really give a shit so i apologize uh his under three shots on goal right now the sportsbooks line set to two and a half uh these are the odds here for the under so it looks like there is juice on the over here for hiskanen to hit but we do need to take in consideration the discrepancy here between the sports books and prize picks we are getting the better number over on prize picks and we're looking at a 54.5 percent chance for miro to stay under three shots on goal and lastly here to close out our six flex same situation here that we just saw with miro that we see with matthew chain under three shots on goal again the sports book line is set to two and a half 
Same type of odds. They're actually a little bit better here for Duchesne. 54.4% chance to hit. And that will be the last play that we're adding into our six flex. So that's what we got, guys. This is the all NHL six flex directly from the optimizer. We have Max Domi under three shots on goal. We have Jacob Truba over two shots on goal. We have Jeff Skinner under three shots on goal. We have Brad Marchand over two and a half shots on goal. We have, I'm going to call him Miro H. We have Miro H under three shots on goal. And then we have Matthew Chain under three shots on goal. That's going to close it out for you guys. The DGF all NHL six flex directly from the prize picks optimizer. If you guys are tailing, go ahead and like this YouTube video. If this is your first time stumbling upon the channel. You can go ahead and hit that subscribe button below. Also, go ahead and turn on those notifications so when we do post videos, you are notified and try to grab them prior to them getting bumped over on prize picks. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll catch you later.